For these exercises, for this assignment, the first exercise I'm taking out of Modern Reading in 4-4, a book by Louis Belson from 1963 that is a pretty popular book. And on page four, I'm playing the summary, the summary that starts on system five. So the idea with this is the notes are either quarter notes or eighth notes with rests and in four four time. And what I'm doing is first you'll see me playing the swing beat. So I'll get the swing beat pattern on the, on the ride symbol. And what I'm doing with the notes that I'm actually reading here is while I'm playing the swing beat, I'm playing all the written notes, ghosting them on the snare drum. And if it's right on the beat, in other words, a quarter note right on beats one, two, three, or four, then you play as written. If it's on the end of a beat, so for example, the first measure of the summary has the and of beat four, I'm actually playing that as the last triplet of that beat. Uh, measure two, I'm playing the and of three and the and of four as if it's the last triplet of each of those beats. So if I'm counting one, two, three, four, da, 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 da. So it has that swing beat, even though they're written as straight eighth notes. So those are swung eighth notes. The next thing I'm doing with the same exercise is you'll see me playing with the brush eighth notes, straight eighth notes, just holding time as if it's a hi-hat or a shaker. And the notes as written this time are played straight. So the first two measures, one, two, three, four, da, 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 da. Those notes I'm actually going to play between the snare drum and the kick drum. Anytime the note is on the beat, I'm playing it on the snare. Anytime it's on the end of the beat or the upbeat or the offbeat, I'm actually going to play that on the kick drum. So you'll hear me play again those first two measures in the summary. Two, three, four, that, that, that. Okay, so that way you start building some more independence. And again, all the while holding uh, eighth notes with a brush on the snare drum with your lead hand, most likely. So that's the first exercise. The second exercise is from Ted Reed's syncopation book on page 55. And I just used number 37 as an example, but you would follow the same pattern. So the pattern is triplets, but then you decide, or I'm sorry, you don't decide. Uh, the accents will tell you where to actually play a full stroke accent. Anything that's not a full stroke accent is a ghost note or just a tap stroke. So number 37, I start out on the snare uh, just playing the accents as written. So two, three, four, deca, ta, deca, ta, deca, ta, deca, ta. and then anytime I, the next time around, I see the accent, I'll play it on the um, rack tom and the floor tom. So I did it right hand lead. So it would start with right hand on the floor, ghost with the left, right on the floor, ghost, ghost, rack, floor, ghost, ghost, rack, ghost, ghost. So you'll see me do that in the exercise. And then the last way of doing that is uh, crashing with the accent. So I'm playing the non-accent uh, non notes on the snare drum and crashing with the crash and kick each time that it is uh, an accent. So 
37 again, we'll go three, four, deck of that, deck of that, 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 I'm sorry, let's do that again. Deck of that, deck of that, that, that. So that's three ways, basically, that you can take advantage of all of these exercises to start coming up with some ideas around the drum set. And then finally, I played along to a little bit, the beginning part of Mercy, 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 the 1968 recording with Buddy Rich. And I just wanted to play along to the recording um, just to get a good feel for it and the thing I really wanted to demonstrate was you know pocket is king I mean playing in time uh, making it feel good and the dynamics is the other big thing so I tried to have different parts uh, the build-ups with the floor and the snare start soft and crescendo up to end up with uh, some kind of hit on the cymbal and the kick and then uh, I would play uh, sort of that, that rock funk beat pattern on the ride cymbal and then I come back around and actually play the drum beat all on just the snare drum, just experimenting with some of the different dynamics. So uh, hopefully these recordings help, hopefully it uh, inspires some ideas and of course, that's what it is. It's just taking bits and pieces of what we get from books and what we get from listening to recordings and just really making it our own. And uh, we play with strength, but we're comfortable and relaxed and we're purposeful, we're intentional, we're intentional about what we play on the drum kit. And of course, that's what every musician loves in a drummer to play along with. So. Have fun with your drumming.